We learn many, many things at journalism school and indeed at our jobs. But what we don't usually learn is how to cope with trauma and pain related to our work. Even though our profession is one where there is certainly no shortage of trauma, especially when reporting from disturbing events. So we're here today to talk about just that. This is GMF Compact. Trauma will manifest in feelings of guilt, isolation, burnout, anxiety, depression, PTSD, or worse. The Dart Center for Journalism at Columbia University in New York quotes a study saying that at least 80% of journalists have been exposed to a work-related traumatic event. And many of those people don't even work as correspondents in war zones. And of those 80%, 9 out of 10 say they have had at least 4 episodes of trauma. 4. Please, don't just be a statistic. Take charge. Here are some basic tips. Number 1. Identify the problem. Look, for people who are really busy obsessing over our sources, we are often quite bad at pinpointing just where it hurts. Is it an image you saw, an assignment you were sent on, a transgression at the workplace, or a threat sent to you on social media by a troll? Please practice some self-awareness and make note of what could be a traumatic episode in your career. Don't ignore it and don't bottle it up. Number two, talk about it. Now, many workplaces offer counseling, but you might want to seek help outside the office, and that's fine. Whether you confide in your best friend, talk to a therapist, or go to the confession box, remember that a problem shared is a problem halved. Number three, practice balance. Don't check your emails in bed at 11 p.m. Sure, that alone is not going to traumatize you, but it will add to the overall stress and pressure that can push you just over that tipping point. Some of the best journalists I know have set routines like practicing yoga, walking their dog in the morning, or having a weekly massage. Make sure you create your own set of rules to separate work from your free time. Number four, know thyself. No two people are the same. The things that might be triggering for me might be completely okay for you, vice versa. Observe the things that set you off and remind yourself of these factors every time you go on an assignment. Number five, breathe, breathe, and breathe again. Every breath you take is another lease on your life. Take a deep breath and then another. Count your blessings. Remind yourself of all there is in your life that you are thankful for and breathe again, ground yourself, and breathe. Look, our jobs aren't easy. Often we are thrust into the midst of cataclysmic events as reluctant first responders. We would not be human if these things didn't take a toll on us. But we don't have to accept our jobs being reduced to a daily grind of trauma. It's a good thing that we can derive purpose and meaning from our work. But remember, there is a life beyond journalism. Nurture that and breathe.